Hello and welcome. Grab yourself any cushions or props you need to get yourself into a comfortable seated position for you where we're going to practice the Sata Nama Kriya for the next 11 minutes or so. And if you want to know more about this Kriya and the benefits and the meaning behind the mantra, check out my blog linked below. So the first hand position you'll take is touching your thumb and your index fingers together for the mantra Sa, which means birth. And next you'll touch your thumb and middle finger together for the mantra ta, which means life or manifestation. And then you'll move along to touch your ring finger with your thumb for the mantra na, which means death or transformation. And finally touching your pinky finger for the mantra ma, which means rebirth. So with this mantra sa, ta, na, ma, you're connecting to that infinite cycle of divine creation. So place your hands onto your thighs and we'll chant Sata Nama out loud for two minutes, moving along the fingers with each word. Then we'll whisper it for two minutes. Then we'll say it internally in our mind for two minutes. Then back to whispering. And ending with chanting it out loud again. So if you've never done chanting before, give it a go. It doesn't matter how you sound and see how you feel afterwards. We'll be doing this Kriya for 11 minutes. So I invite you to get yourself into that comfortable seated position for you and close your eyes. Your spine is tall and your shoulders are relaxed. And let's take a deep inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. Again, deep inhale and full complete exhale through your mouth. And now breathe naturally in and out through your nose and allow your whole body to soften and relax. And notice how you feel. And let's begin with the chanting and moving your fingers along with each word and you'll hear my voice lower down and you can continue on on your own. Keep going with the mantra, but change it to a whisper now.
and now switch to repeating it silently inside your mind. And we're back up to whispering the mantra again. Keep going. Last two minutes of chanting it out loud now. Uh... 
And now you can drop that mantra, keeping your eyes closed, allow the palms of your hands to rest onto your thighs or in your lap and let the vibration of that mantra sink into your body and notice any sensations, thoughts or emotions that arise without judgment. And before you open your eyes, take a moment to notice how you feel after that practice and if it's changed at all. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes, coming back into the room. And taking your hands into prayer. Thank you for practicing with me today. Until next time.